Any human activity in the coastal zone will inevitably generate a more or less sustainable impact on the environmental biodiversity. The Gulf of Milazzo is a complex system which is influenced by many different but strictly interrelated social, economic and ecological factors. This small segment of the coast is characterized by the presence of several productive activities, such as the refinery, the electric power station, the steelworks, the commercial and tourist port, the fishery, the agricultural plants, and the shipyards, which involve the land-sea sector. In this area, the Italian National Institute for Environmental Protection and Research, ISPRA, carried out a research project with the aim to join production needs and protective maintenance strategies by the development of a monitoring system, providing a detailed description of the biological diversity of the area as well as of the quality of marine resources through the analysis of the air, sediment and fish. The air matrix was analyzed applying an experimental system of passive samplers localized in different sites of Milazzo's area. This system is based on the average accumulation or absorption of compounds such as the PCB, substances of wide industrial application, the PAHs, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and some pesticides. This technique, differently from the use of active samplers, has the advantage of monitoring a large number of molecules. The filters retain highly volatile and semi-volatile compounds and allow to assess the concentration of such compounds over longer periods of time, even 60 days. Moreover, they offer the chance to choose a larger number of sites, thereby allowing the identification of the hotspot point and the assessment of the origin source. The results obtained by the air samplers related to the presence of PCBs and PAHs have shown that the quality of air is comparable to that of rural areas. Regarding living resources, a survey was carried out with the Astrea ship of Ispra. The sediment samples were collected using a grab at the bathymetries of 20 and 50 meters, and the analyses have shown that the concentrations of PAHs and PCBs respected the limits prescribed by national legislation, with the exception of few spots identified in the control area beyond Giammoro Villa Franca. The analyses of the presence of metal traces revealed that concentrations of cadmium, copper, zinc, mercury, arsenic and chromium are, in all the analysed sites, always below the contamination limit levels prescribed by Law Decree 152 dating to 2006. The comparison with other Italian areas underlines the extremely low concentration of PAHs and PCBs in the sediment samples and revealed that the presence of the industrial area did not bring relevant signs of environmental impact in the current year. An assessment of the biodiversity of fish population was also carried out by underwater visual sensors techniques upon submerged artificial substrata, wharves of the refinery of Milazzo. The observations were conducted by means of mobile point techniques. The operator swims around the pillar and carries out a census of the livestock present within a three meter radius from the pillar's surface. The recorded fish biodiversity resulted extremely high among the observed species. Some live in strong association with the pillars. Sliders and red scorpion fish, other species such as the damselfish, the sea breams, the saddled sea breams live really close to the submerged structures, while the pelagic species swim far from them, having an approach just to prey. Therefore, we recorded a great biodiversity in the proximity of the wharves, both in terms of the variety of the species and in terms of aquatic biomass. The results show the importance of such structures for biodiversity that is comparable to the ones found in marine protected areas. Milazzo's fishing is focused on small-scale fishing with small boats making daily fishing trips. 
Despite the limited number of fishermen, such activity represents for the area a very important economic, social and cultural value. The maritime traffic, linked mainly to the oil tankers, together with the current climate change in the Mediterranean Sea, is one of the sources of variation in the biodiversity of the fish population. Actually, the ballast water is responsible for the introduction of new species from tropical areas, such as the whistlefish, new species of carangids, triggerfish, bluefish that can be caught together with the commercial fishing species. The abundance of this fish species increased in the area so much that some of these species have become marketable. However, in order to assess the quality of this marine ecosystem, it's more useful to analyze most common resident fish, in particular, the Comer serranus cabrilla, known in the study area as buddis, and the bogue, boops boops, commonly called opa. The analyses of PAHs and PCBs carried out on muscular and hepatic tissue revealed that the average concentrations of PAHs in all the analyzed animals resulted below the values registered in other areas of the Mediterranean Sea. Italian legislation does not set any reference limit value for PAHs in the products destined for human consumption. The European Union, however, with the recent communitarian regulation, sets the maximum allowed levels of certain contaminants, such as the benzopyrene. The tissues of the analyzed fish show that the benzopyrene values are below the limit of two nanograms per gram of fresh weight, set as the maximum allowed presence level in the fish muscle. However, there are two compounds of new generation. They're named PFOS, perfluoroineooctanoic sulfate, and PFOA, or perfluoroineooctanoic acid. These chemical compounds are extremely resistant to heat, chemical stress, and are both water and oil repellent. They're used for domestic cleaning of fabrics and floors, car interiors, food containers, in shampoos, toothpastes, zips, Gore-Tex and Teflon. Even though the concentrations registered in the liver of groupers are lower than 0.5 nanograms per gram of fresh weight, they are quality indicators which must not be underestimated. Therefore, pay attention to the use and disposal of products containing such substances. This study represents a pilot project which helps to detect and solve the limitations and conflicts of the social and economic entities of the area by applying a replicable monitoring system, which through a multidisciplinary approach revealed all the issues relating to the management of the coastal zone. It's no longer advisable to manage an environment without taking into account the whole ecosystem in its various sectors, which represent anyway the final result of a continuous and evolving system.